Yo, good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday in the building. I'm tired, man. Ooh. It's hard when both of your teams are playing at the same time and you got to do a show. Thank you for everybody who was tuning in to the Candy Corner last night. You know, big shouts to Mo Murphy. Big shouts to New Tape City. You know what I mean? We threw it down. We threw it down. Uh, ended up having a really good conversation about the Knicks and the Heat. So if you guys missed that, definitely go and check that out. It's up on the uh, YouTube. It'll be up on the website later today, but it's definitely up on YouTube right now. So just go to the uh, YouTube Candid Corner channel. And just look for the Candid Corner full episodes, and it should be the first one right there. All right. So, Nolens. And before I jump into the actual game, I just think it's kind of cool how Julius flipped that whole narrative about Eno. You know what I mean? He was like, listen, I had... I had good times here. I was here for a year. Nothing but love. I love the coach. I love the city. I love the food. You know what I mean? No animosity about knowledge. So maybe this wasn't necessarily a game he was circling. You know what I mean? But regardless, and that team is, a, is, is I'm, I'm literally surprised that the Pelicans are kind of out of it over there in the West. You know, I mean, because I'm sorry, Zion is dope. Brandon Ingram is dope. You know what I mean? I, but, you know, they'll get it together. But our guys, our guys, man, came out gangbusters, was fighting, was up by like 11 at one point. And just, you know, stayed the course. Listen, these teams are going to come back. You know, they just are. And that's, you know, it's very rare that you see a team that just gives you no competitive fight. You know what I mean? So they teams are going to come back on us. And that's fine. Because we have the wherewithal, or wherewithal and resiliency to weather those, those team comebacks and things like that. So that was really, 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 really good to see again. And it's it's becoming indicative. You know, if if the Knicks, I feel like if the Knicks are in the game late against any team, we have a chance to win that game. We have a chance to lose that game. But I think we learned a lot from the losing in the closing moments of the game. Because we had a couple of bad losses like that where we were right there. And Kapawi, toward the end of the game, that kept us from doing great things. And honestly, those losses are kind of why we're in the vicarious position with this play on, with this play-in tournament. But one thing that I saw this morning that made me extremely happy, Nick fans, is that we are now in sixth place. The Heat lost last night. And so they've got one win on they they they've got uh what are they? One T seven and uh, twenty eight and twenty seven, something like that. And we are twenty nine and twenty seven. So We are in sixth place. We are a half a game out of fifth place. We are right on the Celtics' butt. And I believe we can beat the Mavericks on Friday. Mavericks are a good team. They're another team we should not have lost to when we played them last and had Madison Square Garden. So, in a way, this is a revenge game for us to make up for that loss. And we need to make up for that loss. Hey, and going five in a row, I'm not mad at that. And I honestly believe we could beat the Pelicans again. And it wasn't a fluke. 
that we beat them last night. You know, Tibbs was on his coaching. You know, Randall was on his game. And Alec Burks scored 14 points in the fourth quarter. You know, I mean, that's what I'm talking about, man. This squad, man, you know, I really enjoy watching these things play. And their their heart, their desire to win, their desire to be a, a together in this team thing, man. Dude, chemistry is really, really big. And every time people start just plugging in names for the sake of something, I feel like they miss the chemistry aspect. I mean, yo, point in case, look at the Bulls. Had a big trade just uh, recently. Vucevic is there. They are supposed to be better. They are supposed to be. That was supposed to be the move. That got that gave them the uptick, and they've lost what ten out of their last thirteen, something like that. I mean, geez. talk about it. It's not working just yet, you know. And again, chemistry is major. I'm not saying this trade won't work. I'm just saying it needs time to work, you know. And but and that's that's how it goes, you know. Folk got to get used to playing with each other. Folk got to get used to understanding how others like the ball, want the ball, et cetera, et cetera. You know, it's just, it's not just insert great player, go. I mean, remember the first year of the, of the quote unquote infamous big three. You know what I mean? It took them a, it took them a season. Now, again, these are really great players, so it doesn't take like two, three years, but it does take time. So right now, our guys got that chemistry. We got that flow. We believe in each other. We fight for each other. You know, I heard Julius call it my team last night. I think that might have been the first time I actually heard him. I've heard him say he was the leader before, but last night it was like, yeah, you know, I'm the leader of, of this team. And these guys are really playing really great for my team. And this is how, and I'm like, okay, he is really taking that ownership. And right on, you know, this, this, that's what we want you to do. We want you to take that ownership. We want you to take it on the chin, so to speak, and, and walk with that darn right. I'm a Nick, you know what I mean? And I really fully believe that Julius is all in, man. Who, I hope y'all, I, I know I circulated it earlier yesterday on Twitter. Uh, I hope y'all saw that video, man, of him and his son, where he does the announcement and Jaden comes in and they're talking about, you know, parenting and stuff. Dude, he introduces his son as from New York and a Nick. You know what I mean? It was beautiful. It was beautiful. You know, yeah, man, there's something special going on. There really is. You see this every so often, and I and I, I I don't want to, I don't want to jinx anything or, or, you know, put too many happy jollies out there. But when you see things like this, man, like this camaraderie stuff, kind of reminds me of the 2015 Mets. You know, they were not tapped to go to the World Series at all that year. You know, let alone win their division. And halfway through the season, it looked like things weren't going to go the way we wanted them to go. Then after that trade deadline, man, and Wilma Flores tears, all of a sudden, like, all of a sudden, man, magic happened and it was beautiful and I, I I'm trying not to but I just have that kind of vibe about this team right here you know I, I feel like once we get into the playoffs 
that's when some magic can really, really happen. And I wouldn't be surprised. And I hear all these teams that we're supposed to be scared of. Uh, somebody said yesterday we're supposed to be scared of Boston. Dude, I honestly feel like a lot of these teams need to be scared of us. You know, we out here to, 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 to make our dreams come true. And if that comes at the expense of somebody else's dreams, well, that's what this game is about, isn't it? <laughs> oh man, yo, I'm in a great mood because of this. You know, sixth, we're in sixth place right now. I feel confident going into tomorrow night's game. I feel confident about Sunday's game as well. And I've said to myself, because I, I honestly I keep a lot of this stuff yeah, up in here. I don't really say all of it out on Twitter. Uh, but I said to myself that if we can get on like a six, seven game winning streak, that would be very key going into the playoffs. And so far, we finally got over that that three game hump. And there's two more that are on the docket that I really believe we can take. So let's go Knicks. Let's go into this next game ready. You know what I mean? No drop off, no let off. Let's go handle our business against these Mavericks. And, and take hold of our fate going into these playoffs with these last 15 or 16 games of the season. This is the exciting time, y'all. This is what we've been waiting for. This is that time. At the end of the year, we have something to cheer about, something to hold on to, and we will hopefully see our guys at least a couple of days after the season is over. Man, that's been a long time coming. Nick fans, I appreciate you tuning in, checking up with Candid Minutes. Uh, remember, Saturday at noon, me and Danny B on the uh, Knickerbocker Avenue, we're definitely going to go over Friday's game and a whole lot more. So thank you again for checking us out, holding it down for us and for the Knicks, man. One love.